um, Monsanto or, or Microsoft or other companies which rely on state privilege, Halliburton, uh, Blackwater, all these kinds of nasty entities. But if you are in a voluntary, I was in the software field, which is sort of the Wild West, so to speak, which means the most peaceful and progressive of uh, the areas uh, left of the free market. If you have customers and they're there with you by choice, if you discount the well-being of your customers, you're out of business in about 90 seconds. You okay. really, really have to focus on providing voluntary value to, me, to your customers and maintaining that value over time. Uh, you wake up in the morning as an entrepreneur and all you do is think about how you can make your customers happier, how you can make their lives easier. Uh, now, of course, you're doing that for the cause of profit, but profit is how you measure whether you're being good okay. or effective let's, at, let's uh, uh, at reducing value so for your customers. I'm sorry, go ahead. Let's not deviate too much. I'll, I'll give you, since you brought up an anecdotal case of my former profession as a private equity trader, I'm going to go back a little bit farther to my former profession as a manager in a video production house that I worked in, when, probably one of my first main long-term jobs when I got out of college. I worked for a company that slowly over time started going bankrupt. This company hired about 20 people. We downsized to about 10 people. They began to lie to all of us. All of our paychecks went back about five months. I went up and talked to them in pure honesty to try to figure out what was going on. They just, just described and you know they were basically lied to us in effect that they were just waiting on this, this, and this. I found out later that they were officially going bankrupt, which meant that I couldn't go to small claims court to get the money that I wanted. I had to pay my rent, which I was late on. I had to do a lot of things along with everybody else in the entire arena that hadn't been paid whatsoever, the employees. The people that owned it did not mean bad. They had a general market failure, the market correction that generally happens. Their product was inefficient. What did that create? That created the necessity for them to extend out as far as they could so they could feed their children to screw all of us by necessity. There was one guy there who was on a visa that they owed about $15,000. He was officially a slave because he couldn't even be in the United States without their support of the visa. I had to take all of, the st all of my work off of their servers and hold it ransom in order to get the money that they owed me away from their pockets and their children's mouths because I had to pay my rent and feed myself. That is the true face of the market economy, my friend. And you can idealize all of this stuff about voluntarism and how you just have to, there's a natural ebb and flow and if you just do this, this, and this, that no one will be, no one will be a suspect to exploitation or abuse or the inherent violent coercion that is structural. But the true face of the market, especially when you look around at the truth of reality, I look at the truth of reality, not the theory. When I look at the world today with, say, one person dying every three seconds unnecessarily. When I look at the fact that there are, in truth, based on UN distinctions of human trafficking and what slavery means, there are today more slaves in the world than ever before in human history. When I speak to the truth of the fact that every single life support system is in decline due to resource exploitation, equal exploitation that goes on the human side, applied to the abuse of the topsoil, abuse to everything that we're doing, destruction of water resources, this is a dramatic failure that we're seeing across the board, ex destroying public health and destroying ecological health. So, All right, but let me, I, just give you a, let me just give you a slight counter, though. So you're sure. talking about, and I'm sorry you had this experience, definitely these are not people with a high sense of moral integrity when it actually, comes to the marketplace. Actually, actually but um, first of all, you're talking about how somebody was being subject to a visa, uh, and that, of course, is a government thing. Uh, the, you said you that through bankruptcy that you could not right. use – sorry, let me, let me finish my point, then I'll be quiet. Sure. Uh, you said that through bankruptcy uh, proceedings you could not retrieve your money. Well, bankruptcy is something that is invented by the state. I don't actually agree with it too much. I think that bankruptcy is pretty terrible uh, the way it currently works. And the, second, or the third thing you said was that uh, you basically couldn't get your money back from these people who lied to you. Uh, I would imagine that they were shielded behind a corporation, which is a government-created and government-controlled uh, imposition on the free market, which has, I mean, in the financial industry itself, before there were corporations, people who ran financial companies were personally liable. They could lose their houses. They could lose their, I guess, horse and buggies back in the day. Uh, yeah. And then they went to the government and they said, we'd really like a legal shield so that we can take money out of the company. But if the company does anything bad or illegal or loses money, nobody can get us for the money that we've lost for them. So governments handed over this lovely little legal shield called a corporation. But again, visas, bankruptcy, court, corporations, these are all government things you're talking about. I'm not sure no. what that has to do with, with no. the free market as I'm talking about it. 